Alrighty, well, I keep saying the last video you're going to see of this project is going to be finished, which now I'll just show you what we got going on here. That is the most annoying buzzer, but it should be. It's an oil pressure buzzer. It'll go out here in a sec. So that lights up. Flow control is active. Down here, right down here. There we go, that's better. Right down here, I rigged up a switch here. You can hear that probably. Maybe not. That's the clutch kicking in and out. And the completed front end here. We'll go up and have a look at that. So, what we got here is oil tank case drain line separate I originally was going to put it there but then I got looking at so this is exhaust oil off the flow control so that very well can be coming in with pressure this one here is return oil so the return from the back of the tractor comes through here comes through this uh, filter housing here goes up through our oil cooler and then this comes back down in here dumps into the tank and then we've got a uh, shut off valve over here with suction line run out not so we don't have to empty that if we ever have to do anything with the pump or the clutch on the pump and open the system and then underneath here okay so let's get have a look here so there's that suction line coming through there and this this line beside it here this is case drain it's that half inch case drain line so this runs around the back of the pump pump is belt driven off of that hub we built to go right on the crank there and that was all spun up in a lathe like it's it flies straight and true it's pretty well balanced so, and the dampener, you can see the big dampener back in there anyway, you know, so that's gonna be okay. Um, so here's that electric flow control, that brand flow control. So the way that this goes is you've got oil gauge, pressure relief valve, so we can set pressure off of this. Pressurized oil out of the pump, straight through, loops around. We're gonna have to dress this up a bit here but it goes into the inlet of the flow control. The flow control has this solenoid up on there. That's your constant flow, which goes back three quarter inch line straight back to the air drill. This is your exhaust, which is your over, overdone, like the oil you don't need. So say you only need nine gallons a minute and the pump's making, you know, 20, it'll dump 11 through this right back into the tank. So then this other line here is your pressure uh, bypass for if you're over relief. And I just teed it in right there. So those lines run up through a hole here and they dump back into that cross up top. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I did have to uh, knock the tack magnets off of that crank pulley there you can see where our hubs bolted up yeah so I gotta get that sorted so I've got to tack in her again but that's not the worst that's not the worst thing and uh yeah we pulled the old there's that old case drain line here that I had shown you we got that pulled off of there and capped that all off there so that hydraulic tank is standalone for the tractor again and uh yeah it's uh it's pretty well ready to test i guess everything at the back i already showed you guys that that's all cleaned up so uh yeah we got her cased basically the idea being when you want to use you want to use that thing you uh flip this switch here clutch kicks in and flip this switch here to activate your flow control dial your gauge up to whatever 
flow meets your RPM demand, which, you know, you just come over to this guy here and you click this fan button and it just tells you on your screen what RPM your fans are at. And the other more, I think is important thing is this velocity. See what your air velocity is at. And if your fan speed and your, if you're meeting your velocities with your fan speed a little lower, you can just throttle this back. But uh, with some of these modern seeding rates with dry fertilizer, you're pushing lots of products. So then, yeah, that's her. Pretty happy. Can't wait to test it. We got to do the water pump next. That's the next thing. So, and the GPS showed up for the little spray coop today. So I sent, sent the missus to town to go get that. And uh, we'll get that installed. And then we might actually get at some shop cleaning. My uncle, he likes to come in the spring and give us a shop, give us a project every year. He comes and we do a project. So, uh, yeah, maybe a shop cleaning and an organizing. And uh, finishing up with the old boiler room over there before I pile too much crap up there. And then we got to disassemble it all just to get it finished. Move some shelves and stuff. Should be good. Might have the weather for it. And I got the kids for it now because they're not allowed to go to school with this whole virus bullshit. So they're uh, they're happy. Going to stay home and help dad fix fence and paint and fix fence and clean the shop and fix fence. And then gardening. They love that. They like to weed things. And so, yeah, they're thrilled. But... Anyway, well, that's kind of it. I just wanted to show a, a completed video and then I will show a test video once I got her hooked up to the, the drill so you guys can see how it's performing.